You're on to the Sunday specials on TBC News Hour Nigeria. Exploring the sea and its resources holds the key to the future as African countries look to diversify their economies. TBC News' Samna Sambu has been on a reporting tour of Seychelles, where he was granted exclusive access to some seaports and fishing trawlers in a country that is blue economy driven. Fish being transferred from a trawler into a truck at Victoria Fishing Port for processing. TVC News has been granted exclusive access into this port to see how Seychelles, an African island nation with a population of about 92,000, has successfully harnessed its sea resources rather than depend on commodity trading. I took a tour of three fishing boats and my guide tells me that majority of the fish caught here, like tuna, are mostly processed for sale in Europe and the Middle East at high prices. Fishing is the second largest contributor to Seychelles' economy after tourism. Most African countries are here to learn how the resources of the sea could be helpful to the growth of their GDP. Commodity prices like oil, copper, gold and coffee have fallen badly lately and African countries are now exploring new economic frontiers. Oil prices declined by as much as 70 percent. Seychelles has come in handy as a model economy built on sea resources. African bureaucrats and investors have come here to take some lessons on how the blue economy thrives, promoting the empowerment of citizens. You want to fish in Seychelles, you have to be conservative towards our, 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 our resource. It's the only natural resource we have in Seychelles, it's fish. The government actually restricts foreigners from coming and opening like I'm doing now. They cannot do that. So it's reserved only for Seychelles. Okay? Again, they have, uh, they have plenty of, of, of schemes, loan schemes, very low, very marginal um, interest rates that that boosts the, the, these kinds of investment. In the context of Seychelles, we have a, a, the first part of our our, uh, our our mission to develop the blue economy is really bringing more value to our local fisheries sector. So it's really about empowering more in investment in in, uh, in processing in Seychelles uh, rather than just exporting raw fish. Uh, and you know the various uh, requirements of processing. So it means looking at low temperatures, looking at other products, sashimi, uh, sushi. Uh, uh, helping uh, them brand their products so that it's very uniquely Seychelles, developing new markets, whether it be uh, with uh, hotels, or speciality uh, products, and, and so forth. So I would say that's the first phase. It's really empowering the, the local entrepreneurs, looking at things like biotechnology, uh, energy from the sea, uh, and really making maximum use of, of, uh, of those resources. Countries such as Seychelles, we are 99% ocean, so we have to make the most of what we have. Shipping is one of the biggest businesses here in Seychelles, and the country is hoping to tap into the new reserve by African entrepreneurs to ensure that shipping containers like this into several African ports continues to witness a boost. This man is a staff of a French fishing vessel, and after a tour, he tells me that they prefer trading in Seychelles due to its efficient bureaucracy and modern port facilities unlike the business environment in other sub-Saharan African countries. If we can have all the facilities to offload our cargo in Africa, so that it will be benefit for the fishing company as well as your company, like today you can see many containers going on and off, so you can benefit from that uh, part of activities. Well, the blue economy is very much, I think, an opportunity for Africa to claim ownership of its oceans and seas and, and, and uh, water spaces. Um, too often, I think, in the past, uh, a lot of these spaces are, are uh, exploited more, actually, by third countries rather than African countries themselves. So it's an opportunity for us to relook really at uh, our, our resource base uh, and make more out of it, firstly on the basis of better value addition, um, but also on, on proper branding uh, and uh, uh, creating new jobs, more opportunities for particularly African investors. These key players in the blue economy advise other African countries like Nigeria to open up more of their sea resources to private investments by de-emphasizing commodity trading. Given the opportunity to most uh, small small businessmen 
entrepreneurs to develop and uh, invest in the blue economy. I would recommend uh, people to open the license for fishing companies and uh, like Nigeria, uh, you can open the license for our vessel, an example, to go and fishing from, uh, from your part uh, of your course, we'll have to pay you for the license. Uh, and the taxes that uh, each country impose uh, for, for, for the fishing in the, in the coastline. The blue economy continues to sustain Seychelles, not only in fishing and shipping, but also in tourism, which is the major revenue earner. Reclamation of sea land for international real estate investment is also a major focus of the government. Below me here is the Eden Island, which is reclaimed from the sea. Seychelles continues to make the best use of its sea resources for the benefits of its people. Apart from the reclamation of this land, which is sold as real estate to high-profile individuals across the world, tourism and fishing continues to drive the GDP growth of the economy. Somna Sambu, TVC News, Eden Island, Seychelles. Even the sea holds inspiration for development, but you just may have to look deeply enough.